everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are going to be making this headband with a snowman applique on it. Uh, today the supplies we are going to need are all Red Heart yarns and it is a scrap project, which is perfect because I have tons of scraps from previous projects. So this is such a great project to use your scraps up with. Uh, we are using red, white, orange, like a little tiny bit of orange, and black. Little tiny bits of black as well. Our main color is red, red and then our second main color is white. So I guess you'll need a little bit more of those. In this video I do show how to make uh, our headband smaller because I'm making an adult size and this one will fit my head. But if you want to make these smaller for children, I do show how to do that as well. So uh, before we get started, I do want to mention, oh, you know what, the other supplies we need, <laughs> of course. Uh, we're going to use an H size hook, which is a five millimeter hook. So make sure you have that handy. You could use an I hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. Uh, that should be no problem as well. And we are going to need a scissors and a yarn needle for uh, sewing in our ends and sewing on our applique and cutting all of our yarn. So um, now before I want to start, I do want to mention to check out all the links in the description of this video. I'll make um, a, a link for or the pattern where you can find this pattern on my blog and it'll be a written pattern for this project. Also there's a link to my Facebook so please join me there and if you make this or make anything from my crochet projects make sure you share your photos and get inspiration from other crocheters on Facebook as well. Also check out my Instagram. I'll put a link to my Instagram down there too. Uh, if you post a photo on Instagram make sure to hashtag Yarnutopia so I can see your fabulous work and I'll leave a comment and like your photo as well. Follow me on Snapchat. I'll put my username in the description of this video so you can follow me on Snapchat and get behind the scenes clips of what I like to do on my free time when I'm not crocheting or when I am crocheting. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and check out my channel on YouTube. Go to my channel it itself and on the right hand side um, on the screen there will be a blue button that says uh, support us. Make sure you click that so we can keep bringing you these awesome crochet tutorials. I do want to thank our videographer and editor of this video, Fouad Azmat, for taking the time out to make this with us. So let's just take the time and make this awesome headband together. All right, to start off, we have to make a slip knot. So put the short end over the long end, fold that down, and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we're ready to go. So now you want to chain any um, odd number, okay? I am going to chain 61 uh, because that uh, is the chain with a size H hook that will fit around my head. You want to chain uh, however long you need it to be to fit around the head that you want it to fit around. So my head is about 21 inches around, so I'm going to chain something that is about 21 inches. Um, but it's an odd number of a chain. So I'm going to do 61 chains. So, so yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. So just continue chaining however long you need it to be, and, and it has to be an odd number chain, and then I'll meet you up when I have my 60 chains. Alright, once you get your uh, chains the amount that you need it to be, uh, in the third chain from the hook, uh, we are going to make a single crochet. So the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything, so count one, two, and three. And in that third chain, we are going to make a single crochet. But I like to work, uh, we, for this project, I suggest highly to work on those back ridges. So what I did was just turn my chain toward me like this. So you see these back ridges here? Um, because we are also going to be working on the opposite side around this chain uh, to make the other side of the, the shells. So make sure to work in the back ridges on this top side. And in the third chain from the hook, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. Now we are going to skip one chain and work into the next chain, and we're going to work a shell. And that is five double crochets all in one stitch. 
are all in that same chain. So yarn over, skip that next chain, go into this next chain right here for a double crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Again, yarn over, go into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's four and one more in there for a total of five double crochets in that same chain space right there. Then skip the next chain space and go into the next chain space for a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Skip the next chain, go into the next chain for five double crochets. So again, a yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So we want a total of five double crochets in there. Four and five. Okay, then skip the next chain and go into the next chain for a single crochet. And just repeat that all the way across. Okay, so then skip the next chain and make five double crochets in the next chain. So just repeat that all the way across. Once I'm at the very end of this row, I will show you um, how to turn our work and work on the other side of this row, of this uh, chain. At the very end here, we want to skip this uh, next chain and go into the very last chain. But in the very last chain, we are going to put 10 double crochets in there because we are going to be turning it around. So uh, go into, uh, all right, here, let me move this. Okay, so yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're putting 10 in total. And you can see that I'm already starting to turn it toward me, or I guess, around, turning it around to work on the other side and I'm going to work over the top of the straggler from the beginning as well. So one, two, three, four, five and we have to put five more in there. Okay, so I put 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in there. And now you can see that we are working on this side now. And where there's single crochets, we are going to put a single crochet. We're going to skip these chains and we're going to put five double crochets where there's five double crochets on the opposite side. So put a single crochet in this stitch. And then you can see here there's five double crochets there, so we're going to put five double crochets on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then single crochet in the next, where there's a single crochet on the opposite side. And then where there's five double crochets, put five double crochets in there. So just do that all the way across. And you can see the effect it's already giving, the look of it, all these cool looks. So just do that all the way across. Once I am finishing up this side, I will meet you back up. And uh, we will finish off together and then make our snowman. All right, I'm toward the end now, so I just have to put five double crochets in here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want to single crochet here. 
And then to fasten off, I just like to chain up one. And we want to cut our yarn uh, sort of long, about six or seven inches, and pull that all the way through and pull tight. Okay, and now this is what it should look like. Okay, a nice long piece. And we are going to sew this to the beginning, just like this. So take your yarn needle. And just yarn your needle. And then we're just going to go through some stitches and just do whip stitching. And no worries about this because this will be hidden underneath the applique that we are sewing on. Uh, we are making a snowman to cover this. So you will not see this seam at all because it will be hidden underneath everything. And to fasten this off, we want to tie a knot. Okay, I usually just tie two or three knots of my work just like that and then I like to sew in my end underneath some of the stitching so that it's secure and then I'm satisfied with that perfect then you can cut any extra and there you have it. So this is what our headband looks like. Now you could stop here and make a bunch of these and just have these as headbands and you just have a nice simple headband for, you know, whatever outfit that you need or have. So you can make these in multiple colors and you can just have them to be plain, uh, plain colors like this. But stay tuned and we will make uh, a snowman applique to attach to this. Alright, for the snowman applique, we want to um, make the white face. So tr uh, put your short end over your long end. We're going to make a slip knot real quick. Fold that down and then pull that through and pull tight. Okay. And for the snowman applique, we need to chain two. So yarn over, pull through one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we want to put six single crochets. So the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything. So we're going to count one and two and insert our hook into that second chain right there. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. So now we have to make five more for a total of six. So one, two, three. four, five, and six. And you can see I'm working more in a circular form. And these are worked in continuous rounds. So if you need to grab a stitch marker or a separate or different colored yarn to mark the beginning of your round. If you have to count back six, do so. Also, uh, we are working in the back loops only. So I'll show you here. We usually work through both loops like this, but we are. this is the front loop here. This is the back loop. So we are going to insert our hook right here and work around the back loops only. So we're going to work in continuous rounds. So on round two, we want to put two single crochets in this first stitch. So one and two. So two single crochets in there. We want to work two single crochets in each stitch around actually. So in the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay. And again, right in that same stitch, in the back loop only, another single crochet. And moving on to the next stitch, one and two. Next stitch, one and two, one and two, 
and last stitch one and two you should have 12 single crochets at the end of this round so if you need to count back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you can do so and move up your stitch marker and we'll work on round three so on round three we want to put two single crochets in this first stitch in the back back loops only so two single crochet in the first stitch one and two and then only put one single crochet in the next stitch so only one and then repeat that around so put two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next stitch one in the next and our last grouping here two in the next and then one in the last stitch and at the end of this round you should have 18 single crochets okay so you can move your stitch marker up and working on round four now it's our last round here we're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch one and two and then we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and one and then repeat that around so put two single crochets in the next one and two and then one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in each of the next two stitches Okay, so repeat that around. At the end of this round, you should have 24 single crochet. So I'll meet you up when I have 24, and we will fasten off together. All right, so I just want to remove the stitch marker here. Make sure that this is big enough. And now to fasten off, we just want to go underneath both loops of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through for a slip stitch. And then to fasten off, I like to just chain up one cut my yarn sort of long because we will use that for sewing and then pull that all the way through and pull that tight and there you have a circle for our snowman face so that will be covering the seam here that we sewed up that'll be right there okay so now let's make the hat and then we will do our embroidery Alright, for the hat, we want to start out by making a slip knot. So put the short end over the long end, fold that down, and pull that through. Alright. Insert your hook, and we're ready to go. So now we want to chain, um, let's see here, seven, chain seven, yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep, and in the second chain from the hook and across, we are going to single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we're just going to single crochet all the way across. Alright, now chain one, turn your work, and we are going to slip stitch into the front loop. You see here, there is a front loop and a back loop, and we are going to insert a hook like this, front loop. This is the back loop, and we usually go through both loops, but we are going to insert our hook in the front loop, yarn over, pull through and through for a slip stitch. And now we are going to single crochet in the next four stitches. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And just do that in the next four. So that was one, two, three, and four. And leave the last stitch unworked. Chain up one and turn your work. Okay. 
And now we are going to single crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, and four, and leave that slip stitch unworked. Chain one, turn your work, single crochet across, one, two, three, and four, chain one, turn your work, single crochet across, one, two, three, four, and chain up one, turn your work, one last row, single crochet across, one, two, three, four, and continue to work down the side here, just slip stitching. So insert your hook wherever it fits, yarn over, pull through and through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through, go down this one side, just like this, and then all down to this uh, stitch here on the brim of the hat, yarn over, pull through, and through. And then to fasten off, we just want to chain one, cut this sort of long, and then pull that all the way through because we are going to use that for sewing, and pull tight. Okay. Then turn it to this other side here where it looks better. And that is our hat. So now, we have this looking like this. So now we can sew this on. So let's sew on the hat here by taking the long end, positioning this to about half, right above uh, row, round one here. And we're just going to go in and out, just like that. And we can actually secure this straggler. And you want to end on this side. Okay, make sure your hat looks good. Make sure it's manipulated and straightened out. Perfect. Okay, and then you want to end on this side. And what I like to do is take the two stragglers and tie a knot. and then cut those really short. Okay, and now we can embroider our nose by taking orange. And what we want to do is make a, um, I think it's called a French knot, but I'm not exactly sure. But what I'm going to do, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Go in from the side, from the back side, okay, right in the center of our face, okay, and pull up quite a bit. And then we want to wrap this going from the front. Oops. From the front, wrap it twice, okay, and then go in back into the hat, or I'm sorry, the applique, and pull it all the way through. And pull tight. 
and it's even and it's stuck okay and then we are going to tie a knot in the back and then we are going to make two black dots exactly the same so I'll show you that again with the black and making the eyes get some black yarn yarn your needle and for the eyes we want them to be up here so go in from the back take your yarn from the front around and around and then put it back in to the applique and pull it through all the way make sure that it is tight and secure and then you can cut your yarn and tie a knot in the back to secure it okay I'll show you one more time with the other eye and then we can sew this to our headband so yarn your needle go in from the back side take it go in from the front around and around go back in to the applique and pull all the way through okay make sure it is even with the other one okay and then tie your knots on the back end we have all kinds of stragglers here but don't worry those all be hidden okay and now lastly we want to embroider a smiley face so yarn with black go in from this end over I'm kinda just going in and out of some stitches and then you want to go back into the black yarn and up through the black yarn to cover the white areas just like that and then we can cut that and tie a knot okay now gather all your stragglers in the back here make sure they are all hidden position this on your headband where that seam is right there and then we can sew this on using the white that we had cut earlier so just sew this on and fasten off when you are finished and we'll meet up when we are all done
All right, so there you have it. I just sewed this on to my headband, and I have a little snowman face for on my headma headband, which is super cute. A little statement piece for this winter. Um, so you can, you know, you don't have to add a snowman. You can add like a little heart, or you can add a star, or some type of other applique as well. I mean, this is a great headband, uh, just even plain by itself. I really love the design of it. So I'm going to probably make a bunch of these in all different colors and wear these all winter. These just are so fabulous. But this one has the snowman on it, and I think it's so adorable with this little orange nose. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do want to mention before I go to make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video. I have the links to where, my blog where you can find out where to get the written pattern for this project. It will be a free written pattern there. There's also a link to my Facebook. Please join me there if you make this or uh, something from my crocheted list on my website. Make sure to share a photo and join me on Facebook. Uh, you know, Share your photos or get inspiration from other crocheters. Also, check out my Instagram, and if you do post a photo on there, be sure to hashtag YarnUtopia so I can see your work and I'll leave a comment for sure. Follow me on Snapchat as well. You can see behind-the-scenes footage as well as um, new upcoming projects. Uh, I usually snap right away after I film, uh, so you'll see that this is uh, coming up tomorrow, uh, but you'll probably see it tonight. So, um, you know, just check out my snapchat and all that good stuff and lastly make sure you subscribe to my channel here on youtube and make sure to check out my channel on youtube go to my channel on the right hand side there is a blue button that says support us make sure you click that and support us so we can keep bringing you free crochet tutorials but thank you so much for watching happy hooking